On this page, we're going to look at adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing rational expressions. Let's begin with this multiplication problem. We know how to multiply two fractions. We multiply numerators and we multiply denominators. But then once we're through with that multiplying, we would want to factor the numerator and factor the denominator and see if there's any terms that would cancel. So let's begin by factoring all of the polynomials. Now it takes a while to check all of those out, but each of those polynomials factor as we have shown them here. Then we have four factors on the top and three factors on the bottom. Notice that this x plus 2 is a factor on the top and on the bottom, so they'll cancel. And this x minus 1 is a factor on the top and on the bottom, so they will cancel. Leaving us with this final result. Next, let's look at dividing two rational expressions. We know how to divide fractions. We invert the divisor and multiply. So now the problem has just become a, a multiplication problem. We'll factor all the polynomials, see if there's any terms that cancel, and any factors that cancel, common factor on the top and on the bottom. So we inverted and multiplied, and then we factored wherever possible. Of course, 3x plus 21 was easy to factor. It took a little bit of, of time to worry about factoring this other uh, expression. Whoa, wait a minute. We've got troubles. Hang on, let me back up just a little bit. We're okay. I lost my confidence there for a minute. We inverted this. Uh, this should be a multiplication sign. That's one. Okay, I'm sorry. I was being embarrassingly clumsy. We inverted this and multiplied. Then we worry about factoring things. This 3x uh, plus 21 is easy to factor out of 3. It takes a little bit more effort to discover how this uh, other polynomial factors. Now look for common factors in the <clears throat> numerator and the denominator. There's a 2x minus 5 in the numerator and a 2x minus 5 on the denominator. Those will cancel. There's this 3 and that 3 that will also cancel. We reduce the fraction and we're left with an x plus 7 on the top in the numerator and a 3x plus 2 in the denominator. And that's our final result. Now let's look at this subtraction problem. We're subtracting two fractions. Luckily, they already have a common denominator, so we just need to subtract the numerators. Always be careful in handling the minus signs. When we take these parentheses off, we'll have x minus 3 and minus 4x plus 1. So we combine the like terms and we get a minus 3x minus 2 over 6x cubed. There isn't anything that factors on the top or the bottom, so we're through. The next problem is an addition problem. It's nice to get a least common denominator, so it makes it easier to, to work with. So we're wondering, does m squared plus 2m minus 15 factor to have a factor of x plus 5 in it? If it does, uh, that, that's the only kind of factoring that we're worried about in that particular expression. So to get a common denominator, we'll need to multiply this first fraction, top and bottom, by an m minus 3. So there we are. We've got a common denominator. We'll need to add the numerators. We'll need to multiply all of this out so that we can, can add that. So we're I'm going to put everything over the common denominator and multiply that part on top out. So multiplying things out on the uh, numerator of the first fraction and adding the m plus 5, we get this particular result. Now we'll need to gather up like terms. Oh dear, there were some mistakes there. Please look back and see that when you multiply this numerator out, you get this amount, and then you'll want to add that 
you want to add on the um, m plus 5 um, all divided by here. Now we need to get gather up the common denominator. <coughs> sorry, gather up like terms. So that gives us that final amount. It might be really good to check things in this video to see if they're if they're accurate. Uh, I'm doing this one late at night. Okay, let's stop that video at that point.